Hi ladies. Good evening. I am feeling pretty good today. We have been, it's Sunday. We've been hustling. Every day we've been moving one thing or another. I have, last night, I finally got my official bed, my mattresses in my room. And I'm not sleeping on the floor or the couch is what I've been doing. And I was just, I had a little glass of wine next to my stand and all my old parents, knickknacks, this and that, you know, in the room. And I thought, you know, Rhonda, you should be very proud of yourself. I mean, you should be very proud of yourself. You made this happen. You did not give up between the horse injury and the divorce and the struggles of ha having to finance this by yourself. Pick the house out. Finance it by yourself with no coal signer. And in, on top of that, it's a whole remodel. I mean, the bathroom is still needs, you know, but we've had critters, raccoons, bats, groundhogs in the basement. I mean, me and the kids just shoveled out a breezeway down in the uh, crawl space two days ago that had insulation and a hole from the basement, you know, destroyed. And we took, I think, 10 garbage bag, gigantic contractor garbage bags out with insulation and a dead coon wrapped up in it. And it was disgusting. I mean, the barn, the friends, that the guys that have come and helped, you know, put up a light or check the electrical or, I mean, your circle matters. How you treat people matters because someday it does come back good or bad so if you want to treat people like shit and when you need help and the chips are down uh, you probably are not going to get much help but if you are a decent human being and you lead with your heart and everything is in good intentions you will have those souls show up and help you and I've been so blessed in that because there's been many nights that I have not slept very well because I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to pull this off. I mean, what single mom is going to be able to do a whole remodel on this house that my realtor was afraid to walk through it? That's how bad it was. The kitchen, the floors... The painting <laughs> but I am very excited and happy and humbled and we still have to get things out of the old farm we had to disassemble some of the stalls today and help I sold part of them so they went off to some other people and the other uh, part of the stalls will come over here and they were very heavy. I mean, it took us two, four, six, six of us, eight of us to pick one stall side up at a time. They were heavy. And, but it's coming along. You can do it. So, ladies, when the chips are down, you just have to keep going. One day at a time one little pieces at a time and when you got to rest rest when you got to sleep sleep but constantly do something to move forward do something every day that your future self will thank you for and do something every day that you love to do and 
you will see it through. So that is my cup of tea, beer, glass of wine for the night. But God bless and take care of those ones that are close to you, that are dear friends. And in times like this, you will find who your true friends are and who has your back and, and the ones that will use you, abuse you, and cower away and run away when the times get hard. And I've definitely seen that. It kind of hurts because... You thought the ones that you thought would have your back are the very ones that took off and put their tail between their legs and left you high and dry. So, take care, ladies. God bless.